Where are you, little bastard? Oh. Great. Wow, he was right next to me, apparently. <laughs> Waiting for me to look over so he could be dramatic. <laughs> Fuck, I'm supposed to follow him up there? <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'm gonna... Uh... I can't leave without killing it. It's some kind of like super pro oh yeah, okay, this is this is dead end. I mean, maybe they just happened to get all stuck to each other and they were just a bunch of individuals uh, infected. But if I feel like this is like the leader somehow, like this is like it's all like some kind of thing that could happen again if I don't stop him. Or he could just start melding up again. <laughs> no, no, no. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Okay, that's better. Okay. My, did I land any of those shots? When did I get this bad? Hey, little goober. Why are you invulnerable? <laughs> you're easier to spot when you're on fire. Ooh. The fire worked out. Yes, fuck this place. Today has been the fuck this place marathon. Like, Jesus Christ, man. You need to stop going outside. You need to take you need to take a quarantine break from just all things happening. Never look outside again. Just fuck it. Fuck it all. Still don't have a melee weapon because these games this game's being an asshole. Okay. So yeah, neither of those were quite as bad as they it seemed like they would be. I'm not really in a hurry to do it again, though. Hiding anything in here? No? Haven't I earned it? <laughs> uh, take a nap, Abby. Surely we've earned it, right? Like, after the hotel and everything? Like, surely... Gonna believe that shit. Surely this is it. No one's ever gonna believe that shit. Maybe that's... Oh, yeah. That could explain potentially why there are other variations of certain infected that maybe people haven't heard of. Maybe no one believed them when they, when they told them. Like, no, fuck you, we already know all about the infected. There's no new infected. And then each of those faces gets shattered down. Oh my god, it's the outside. Go, 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 go. And now, and now here come the Seraphites or something, right? Like, I can't just go home. Why did you jump me? 
Have you tried whispering? They're all looking for you. What did you do? Nothing. I told you to stay put. I couldn't. Your friends are all over the place. Did you get the stuff? Yeah. Now we just need to get the hell out of here. Well, that'll make the return trip easy. Oh, thank God we're skipping it. See her now if you want. Is she gonna be okay? Yeah, actually. Hey. They're just kids. I know. What happened to us? Stop looking for the light. Maybe. I'm gonna go check on the girl. This is, this is on purpose, yeah. Because this, this game's condemning revenge and really all forms of violence in general. I know that's, there's a lot to be said about the idea of like having a game full of violence where you take part in said violence and like it's also still designed to mechanically be fun or exciting or interesting on some level, like the paradox is there. But like narratively, it's definitely condemning it, and I think that's why they're constantly dropping hints about, like, these people all experiencing loss mid-fight by being like, oh no, oh, Sally's dead, and stuff like that, and, like, having you kill dogs, so that you're sort of cringing at what you're doing along the way. But also, the entire thing is built around two parallel revenge narratives between the two main characters, who you're sympathetic with both of them along the way, and you understand why they want revenge, and you have one character who's still hunting for it. Because Ellie, we don't know what's gonna happen with Ellie. She's currently being held at gunpoint by Abby, where we left her off. 
and we don't know what will happen with her or how that situation is going to resolve. I'm sure we will. It'd be, I, or maybe, I don't know, maybe it cuts to black. <laughs> maybe we really do just end at that scene on both campaigns and, just, and, and it's just miserable. But, uh, Ellie's still seeking her revenge, but, like, Abby already had it. And, like, she's not at peace in this campaign. It's like the two characters form a before and after of the event, essentially. Which is both of them seeking revenge. And, like, she's still dreaming about this every night. Like, it didn't go away when she went after Joel. It's always this hallway over and over again. They might be going a little on on the nose there about genuine, like literally seeking the light because there was a light at the end of the hallway. So they're associating the idealism of her father with light. Maybe it's just wish fulfillment. The torture of dreaming that people you care about are still alive. Or the idea that for the first time in four years she's doing things that would make her father proud of her. Instead of the other way around. Going to come with you. Her. We broke the rules. That's all we care about. Bowen? Just me. What are you still doing up? I was changing her bandages. Can't believe she's on her feet already. Yeah, well, scars are tough. I can get there and back. No. What are they fighting about? So fuck you, Yara. I wouldn't leave you behind. Love doesn't want to leave Seattle. Owen invited them to come to Santa Barbara. That is very Owen. I figured you'd have talked him out of going by now. Actually, I'm going with them. But not if you come. Oh. What? He may fall for your little act with these kids, but I don't. There's nothing to fall for. Isaac's top scar killer suddenly had a change of heart. Nothing to do with Owen, right? I haven't always done the right thing. You're a piece of shit, Abby. You always have been. I'm done with you. You want to do right by these kids? Get out of their lives before you screw them over, too. God damn, Mel. Fuck. Abby? shirt are you are you okay how's your arm it's, it's better than it was this morning love coming around he will yeah. would you mind helping me look for him is pretty worked up. Sure. He ran off the 
this way. Uh, so the obstacles right now are Mel and Lev. It's like enough people are on board with the idea of going to Santa Barbara that like hearing that the kids were going to go too and maybe even Mel probably was the tipping point where Abby would have been on board and they would have left. And that's an outcome where the ending of Ellie's campaign doesn't happen. They don't all get killed by Ellie. Ellie doesn't show up at the theater. These three days just can't work out, can they? Lev! Lev! Come back here, please! Mel is now dedicated to this anti abby ultimatum. Why doesn't Lev want to go to Santa Barbara? He's worried about our mom. About what'll happen to her because of us. Should he be worried? He needs to focus on his own safety right now. They do that Old Testament shit? Persian the whole family? Sometimes parents are held responsible for their children's sins. But our mom is so devout, she'll probably be fine. Are there options for helping her? He can't convince her to leave. No one could. I'm more worried of what she'd do to him. Shit. Lev? Lev, I'm sorry. Lev, come on out! The kind of person that's Lev. so devout that they'll turn their own kids Lev. in. Lev, please come here! Lev! You know, I wonder if he saw this. He loves sharks. He loves sharks but hates the ocean, huh? He really opened up to you. We bonded over our shared fear of dying. You hear that? Lev! Are you in here? Hey, it's okay. It's okay. She just wants to play. Hey, girl. Hey. Right there. She got, won't hurt you. She's got the little chew toy. Okay, watch. Go get it, girl. Hey. Hey. I, uh, I think she wants you to throw it again. Definitely. Hey. Okay, one more time. Phew. Yeah, you're so fast. <laughs> What's up? You want to try? That doesn't seem like a good idea. She's not going to bite, right? Nope. I promise. <laughs> Can I do it again? I think she would love that. She did the little sneeze. Hey. Can I pet the dog? They won't let me pet the dog. Usually if you, you can pick. Hey! Oh. Look at the anticipation. Hey! Hey! What's up? What's up? What's up? Huh? Yeah? I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> there's little there's so many little moments where it doesn't quite work. Keep looking for him. They're trying, but like scripting a dog non-linearly is so hard. Like they could you could do a pretty convincing animation if you just if it's just canned, but like having it run around like a like a like an, an AI character. There's just a few things that it, there's a lot of seams. Love. Oh, is he doing 
goodness. Hey, do you think maybe he could convince your mom? If she saw him like this, she'd strangle him with her bare hands. How much did he tell you? Not much. I heard some of your people calling him Lily. For a long time, I didn't understand why he was questioning the laws, the traditions. When he explained to me how he felt inside. I told him he had to keep it to himself. I was hoping he'd snap out of it. He seemed fine for a while. But then he shaved his head. Like one of the men. It was suicide. Is that when you ran? First, I screamed at him. I hit him. It was so stupid. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we find something to cheer him up? Come on. Well, why do you think he did it now? Shaved his head, I mean. Last week, he got assigned his role in the community. He wanted to be a soldier like me, but they decided he was to be a wife to one of the elders. It's tradition. Poor kid. Elder wife. Ugh. Ugh. Where is Santa Barbara? It's in California. Where's California? Okay, so look, uh, this is Seattle, and this is Santa Barbara. And our island? It's too small to see, but it would be up here. <laughs> so far. Yeah, yeah, not wrong. Good. Very far. Oh. I guess we have to drop or something? On to stairs. This doesn't seem... Like something I'd recommend somebody that has stitches to tear. <laughs> There's gotta be something left around here. A shark shirt? Hmm. We can do better than these shirts. Look at the seal. Hopefully he didn't just leave. Last thing I want to do is go on like a old day expedition that ends in me finding a pre-strangled Lev. This is cute. See anything worthwhile? No. Keep looking. That's the outside window. I remember seeing this weird, like, net shape, like the coral shape on the outside. That's vaguely distressing.
There's something sacred about how just unblemished this place is. I mean, it's plenty blemished, but like it's not. It's there's, there's just no infected in here continually. Hmm. Is it like a reef shark or something? What about this? It's perfect. Mel's wrong, you know. You're a good person. You don't know me. I know enough. Abby, will you stop stealing my stuff, please? I'm sorry, I didn't realize you owned everything in the aquarium. Yeah, well. My aquarium. My stuff. I'm just kidding. Take whatever you want. You can't. Have you seen Lev? Uh, yeah. He was down that hallway. Okay. Can I... Can I talk to you? I'll catch up. Okay. She couldn't tell I was joking. I suck with kids. <laughs> yeah. They really like you, though. So, um, come to Santa Barbara, right? I can't. Why? You know why. We can figure this out. It's too late. No, no, it isn't. Look, I know. I know it's a fucking mess. I know. But we can choose to be happy. Happy. We're allowed to be happy. After her. After who? His mom. She's gonna kill him, Abby. Is the boat ready? Not yet. How much time do you need? Uh, a few hours. Fuck. We'll head him off. We'll grab a boat from the Marine. Hey, she just had surgery. I'm fine. How else am I gonna find him? I'll go with you. Owen? They're heading to fucking Highland. Exactly. I'm not going to let her go by herself. Actually, you are. I can help. Yeah, by staying here and fixing the fucking sailboat. Get your priorities straight. Yara, let's go. Fuck. The dialogue makes sense. Mel was pleading with Owen to leave without Abby, saying nobody returns from the island. We just got all the context. How you doing? I'm good. Okay. It's like a few hours pass. We're not back. Ellie has no chance of finding us because we're in a complete place she just doesn't even know existed. Okay. Ellie doesn't know the island is even a thing. So she had no chance of finding Abby. And with Abby, we're going to see this in this invasion that Isaac was planning. This is going to be a mess. Everything about this is going to be a huge mess. Oh, boy. And then we're going to return. Oh, that was just it. That was just it. Him saying we're allowed to be happy. That's the last time Abby ever saw Owen. And that argument is the last thing that Mel ever said to Abby. Oh, not making that. They're both they're both gonna be dead when she comes back. And then what? All of her friends are dead. With all of her friends dead, what does Abby do besides... Oop. 
Get in the boat. Here. I've got you. I can do it. Let's go. Either Ellie kills Abby. Careful. And then Ellie goes back to Jackson. Or Abby kills Ellie. And then Abby gets in that boat with Lev and Yara. And I guess nobody else. How do we get to your and they go to San, Santa Barbara? There are blind spots along the coast we can boat into. From there we'll follow back roads. They're safe? Safest option we have. Any chance Lev is going to change his mind? No. He's too stubborn. Does he get what he's walking into? I thought he did. Got a soft spot for him. I mean, it's his mom. Yeah, well, she wants to be Oh. It's fucked. It's fucked. It's like a distressing, like, almost siren situation where somebody's walking into the trap of someone that they think loves them. How do we get to the marina from here? Let's just go around. She's older, so I'm, I'm guessing that she unfortunately probably has a more accurate read on her mother. And that's not good news. Down this way. Mmm, difference between Abby and Ellie. That's worth noting. I can't make arrows. It's a good thing that mine can be retrieved more often, but yeah, I basically I just need to be able to find them. That's the upside, I suppose, to the fact that this chapter is gonna take place in a in Seraphite territory. Try and keep your arm dry. Too late for that. I swear to God, if we go through all this and you die of infection, like some sort of historical figure, I'm gonna lose my mind. That's how that's how history go. It's the disappointing part of it of reading through it. Nobody dies cool ways. You read through, like, Romance of the Three Kingdom type stuff, and you play, like, Dynasty Warriors, and you have all these hype-ass anime dudes doing shit. Then you read, like, the start and end dates of all those people, and it's like they... Pretty much, half the time, they don't even know what year they were born or died in, and if they do know, they probably died of disease. Hey, this might go through. Stop. I've got it. Okay, go, go. There's a way through here. Come on. the water over there. We just gotta get up to the road and go around. Okay, sounds good. Here. Lev's just not thinking this through. He has to, he has to know that Yara would come after him. Right? Maybe not. Because Yara doesn't believe in what he's saying, so... Maybe he sees the Yara as the enemy, and uncaring. So maybe he genuinely thinks that Yara's not, not, not going to be coming along. Like, in reality... He's risking her.
Oh, it's it's zealous. I was like, I was like, is it jealous? But there's a J crossed out, so the word must be zealous. There's no L crossed out or Z. Vicky, be careful. My boat took shots twice today. I suggest taking the trawler out farther into the sea. Waves are wild and you'll probably lose your lunch a couple of times, but better than getting sniped by a scar. We should be fighting to get the hatchery back. Going deep into scar territory like this is fucking- is asking for trouble. The hell is Isaac thinking? Maybe after the shift we can ask to be reassigned. I'll cut all the potatoes in the world instead of being caught here again. Please be careful. See you back home. Kent. Yeah. It's a variation of Hangman where you do the nasty... Uh, disemboweling that the, that the Seraphites like to do. The gruesome ways that things change to reflect the times. Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies. 